ever in the history of athletics in society today. We need you. People need to move today. Can I get an amen? Amen. Sitting is the new smoking today. Sitting is the new smoking. Guess what? iPhones and iPads is the new smoking for my athletes. They sit too much. The effects of sitting and being dormant and stagnant and not moving is carrying a toll that's astronomical on our lives as people and as individuals. You guys have the cure to cancer. So you need to be fired up and excited about what you're bringing. So I'm going to try to give you some just different ways of looking at training. Some you may use. Hopefully I'll jog uh, some new ideas. It, my objective today is to give you one or two tools or maybe a fresh approach to looking at your training you can take back to your, your, the, your clients and athletes you're helping. Does everybody go with that? That's our objective today. I want you to think about this too. Just I love picture analogies. What is this? More than anything, your training program should look like this today. Check this out. In athletics today, we're so busy and hectic with the phones and everything right now. The model of periodization of programming, here's the word we're using with it now. Fluid. Fluid. It's got to be constantly relevant, adaptable, flexible, and changing. I love the quote that says, blessed are the flexible, for they shall not be bent out of shape. <laughs> Take that for Christmas and use it, all right? Blessed are the flexible. You can't just be set in your ways. You've got to think outside the box. You've got to think creatively. You've got to think innovative. And so let me tell you something. Training doesn't get brand new. It just starts, starts to come back around. Kettlebells was years ago. We're using kettlebells now, right? Body, gymnastics stuff. You go back to the old 1970s and 60s Russian training, it's all body weight stuff. You guys ain't doing nothing new. You just got three two big baby on it. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Isometric is more stability and whatnot. So anchor 
and come on, you come on the dynamic, again, anything dynamic, you need to lay a foundation of developing and strengthening the soft tissue and connective tissue before you get to dynamic. That's where the soft tissue injuries happen, and so forth and so on. Tips on the band, all right? Teach and progress slowly. I, if, you, if you've ever used bands before, or if you haven't, uh, start slow, right? It's like going to Baskin Robbins. Can I get like a little taste of that, a little taste of that? Just kind of play with it. Don't do it yourself, because what happens is bands respond differently than weights. Now, you're not going to get the soreness you get with weights, the damage, but the, the instability and the weird angles are going to, and, the, and all, that, all those forces are going to be way different than something you've, you've experienced. And if, you're, if you've got a client or somebody that's ever used that, you've really got to let them adjust and adapt. I've had so many athletes, when I put them on band, they end up falling the first day. So I really, if you're going to teach that, I, I don't know if I would do it on concrete in the first week. So I know some of you guys have different surfaces. Think through the surface you're on when you're using that. Right? If you did it on concrete, I probably would start with a lot of just walking moving. Right? Be careful of the tension, and I've got different ones up here. You can't see them all, but I've got orange, many orange, many red, many black, purple, and, and green. There's one beyond that I didn't bring is the blue. And that I use those like weights. I progress up through there, depending on my exercise. And you can combine them as well. We'll see here in a second. Accelerate eccentrics. Band, accelerate eccentrics. What is that? Anybody know what that is? It sounds fancy, but it's, it's very simple, but it's very dangerous. And we'll do it here in just a second. We'll, we'll look at some of it. It's when you set up a cone, and you're doing some agility work, and somebody's anchoring, and they're out. Every time they go out, they go a little further. Guess what? The slingshot back accelerates. So if you don't have the braking capacity to come back and get out, I wouldn't do that. That's advanced, but I would use some of it with light attention. So if you want to try some of that really light with the, the mini orange and mini red. There needs to be a similar training age, and I talked about that earlier, in the partner. Make sure that their training age, that the years they train, they know what they're doing, is similar. Bands will weaken over time. You'll see there's a couple up here, I think right now, I've got, yeah, I've got a red one right here that's kind of starting to fray a little bit. So you'll see they'll start to fray, so you're going you're gonna to need to keep an eye on that. So that, because I have seen them snap, and it, does, it leaves a huge red mark. It's like, uh, I don't know, what was it, Tommy Boy said, I'm not hurt, it's not red here, here, but it's red all the way <laughs> It's like, well, no, you're good, it's, you're fine, you know, sit at home. Uh, program replacement. I like this place, we'll do that first today, and I always like to do, I always like to do opposite, push, pull, lower, upper, anterior, posterior, static, dynamic, stability, instability. I always like to kind of keep those combinations. That keeps you, what, honest, and it keeps you balanced, and it keeps your, your, your clients and athletes safe. So think like that. Don't get so uh, one-sided on it. In space, again, in place is a lot safer. In space, it becomes a little more chaotic, and you need to know what you're doing. Make sure you got good ground. You can do the warm-up, kind of movement stuff in it. Uh, dynamic, again, that again becomes very complex, and then the plyometrics are reactive. That was the eccentrics that accelerated us talked about. Groups, light resistance. Uh, go to reps. These are just progressions here. Slow to dynamic movement, small to big, right? It's talking about bands, small bands to big. Long distance to greater resistance. So I start with long resistance first before I add resistance. Because once you've got the work capacity, then the resistance you'll be able to handle if you progress it. Sometimes if you've got too strong of a resistance, if they fatigue and start breaking down in form, injuries will occur. So just pay attention to them. So dumbbells. I love Olympic movements. Anybody ever done Olympic movements with dumbbells? I'm, I'm sure you have. Hey, um, these are the best for uh, priming your central nervous system. It's a multi-joint, multi-muscle and uh, fascia connection, soft tissue. You're going to burn more calories in less time because you're on a tight clock. You've got to be careful with dumbbells because I have had, uh, especially one, one young lady uh, across country, she had these little sharp metal ones and she clipped herself here and she was bleeding everywhere. So if you can, they make a ton of the cover dumbbells with the rubber, so I would recommend not using those unless you just don't have another option. So especially when you start going overhead and lowering weight. So just again, two most dangerous words a coach or trainer can say is what? I thought. <laughs> uh, Mason, I thought they was fine. <laughs> 
They, I mean, they look good. I asked them like two minutes ago, I, and I thought they were good. Next thing you know, I looked over and they were laying down in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I thought, are the two most dangerous words you can say as a trainer? Don't do that. We'll talk about, you know, squats, single leg stuff, pressing, we'll go in a minute. I love to do pulling, swing. People that can't do overhead movements, I love to do swings with a lot of my athletes. You can do it two ways. You can do it with a hinge or you can do it with a squat. And there's a continuum there, right? Some people always say, well, you got a hinge. You talk to a kettlebell guy, like, you're doing it wrong. You've got a hinge. You've got a hinge. You go talk to a powerlifter, what do they say? Oh, coach, that's, that's bunk. You got a squat. You got a squat. So here's my, here's my plea to you. Here's my plea. Everybody you got is on a different journey and path, right? Right? Yeah. Here's the deal. They're not where they used to be, but they're on the way to where they want to be, right? So you got to help them take that next step. So here's a hinge, here's a squat, it's a continuum. Somewhere in there, you want to progress them to where they can squat. Every, if you look at a baby that's, you know, two, three, my little ten-year-old can squat, but the ankles and be nice, good posture, we lose that as we get older. So your clientele, you want to maybe, you might not ever get them to a full squat, but get them healthier mobility. So find that continuum. Again, a swing is taking a dumbbell, you're hinging, right? I can do single arm. I can do overhead balance. I can switch here, right? I can go two hand. I can also do it with a squat. So there's a couple different ways you can do a hinge. That is a fundamental just movement, going to pick up laundry, your socks, your underwear. Right, guys, you pick up your own underwear when you're married, right? Come on, guys. Maybe said amen. <laughs> and then isolateral exercises. What you're going to find out today with, with uh, we're seeing this in athletics, is that bilateral exercises, if you get to doing too much of that, you're going to get them hurt. Because of what? Genetic factors. And I'm going to talk about corrective exercises here in a second. And you've got to have an eye for that and be able to understand uh, tone of the muscle and length and uh, density, all right, when you're watching people. Tools, corrective exercises. Again, going back to, we have big time culture issues today, don't we? Mm -hmm. These are your two syndromes you look for. Upper cross, lower cross. Raise your hand if you have somebody in your, your camp right now that has that. Raise your hand. Either one of them or both. both. Right? And so what do we do? Look, I did this for years. Oh, you're tight and you're weak in the front. But you need to bench more. You need to, you need to more interior. No, you don't, Mr. Wizard. Right? I need to do some mobility on the T side, strengthen that. Those shoulders get them back intact on the stop doing so much here. I need to stretch the front and strengthen the back. That program needs to change. You're running them down the road where the caboose doesn't get off. Right? You gotta do that. Here. A lot of us travel today, right? They sit like this, even if they're not traveling, right? On their phone, getting it in, right? Twitter, Instagram, <laughs> Snapchat, right? Getting it in. And then what? You get, you get short, you get locked short here, and you get locked long here. And then what do we go do when we go to the workout? Doing the same crap. Why are you doing that? Fix them first, and go back and train them. Lengthen, right? Strengthen. Lengthen, stretch here, don't strengthen it. Lengthen it, get this stronger. A lot, of, a lot of lower back problems come out of glute medius. We'll talk about that later in a second. Glute medius right here. And your BMO and your QL. So there, you want to look for these. The hips pull forward, look for the lower back, high hip flexors. Again, that's just from traveling and sitting on your phone. People are going to give you kisses and send you bonuses if you fix that. Muscle <laughs> <laughs> balance. I remember asking, I took several classes in massage. Let me ask you a question. If you foam roll a right quad, should you foam roll the left quad exactly the same? What, what do you think? No, not necessarily. Who said no? Anybody else? No. You say no. <laughs> yes, you're correct. Ding, ding, ding. Give them a prize. No. <laughs> you should not, when you're working with any athlete, if, a, if the right quad is tighter, more bunched up to the left, you should give this more, I say give it more love. Leave this one alone. You actually 
by going and phone rolling both sides. Oh, we got to coach. We got to even it up. Right? We got to make it the same. No.